Well, hello. So, back with some cards. Um, today we're gonna be looking at the Morpico V Union box. I, I like these V Unions. They're pretty cool. They they take, especially this one. I feel like it takes like a pretty average character and makes it juicy as f. Now I'm sure in the card game it's a pain in the butt because you gotta collect all four of these, but it still ends up being pretty juicy at the end of the day. So, anyways, let's get into it. Um, if you're new here or just returning, be sure to hit me up for codes. You know, all these codes I don't use, I don't need, and I give them out. So, if you play the online game, hit me up. You can have the codes. I'm sick and tired of having a stash for no reason. <laughs> hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter or send me a comment here. I, I, cool. Okay, so we got four of those, so that's four codes right there. And then we have one code that was inside of this package, so just gotta take that out. Alright, took out that one. The small cards, I'm not gonna, we're just gonna keep them on the side because I don't feel like making a puzzle. We got the big one right there. Anyways, here's another one that was in there Professor Burnett. I think I've had this one before. Promo. Search your deck for up to two cards and discard them then shuffle your deck <laughs> okay kind of crappy anyways this is big juicy more pico what does it got it's got union gain which is attach up to two uh electric energy cards from your discard pile to this pokemon all you can eat draw cards until you have 10 cards in hand there you go electric ball does 160 and burst wheel 100 times discard all energy from this pokemon this attack does 100 damage for each card you discarded in this way wow so that can do some serious damage imagine you do this move you get 10 energies and then you discard them all that's a thousand damage <laughs> oh yeah you know something that is probably obvious to most people but i just learned recently colorless energies mean they can be anything you know back in the day when this game first came out colorless was a thing colorless energy was it, it, you, the card was always a double colorless energy. And so that's what I always think of. And I think I never get colorless energy. So like, what, how, how do you even do this stuff? But that's what it means now. It means any energy. So that means that technically could be an electric energy or anything, electric energies or anything. Never knew that until about two weeks ago. <laughs> I was reading through a uh, training guide and that's where it told me. And I was like, are you serious? All along, I've been confused for nothing. Anyways, Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike. All right. We're going to do it like this. Wait, hold up. Yeah, like this. I'm going to start with the old ones and end with the stronger one, but alternate in between. So, first up, Fusion Strike with Genesect on the cover. Not like it matters. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Got that code. If you want it, hit me up. It can be yours. I don't want it. Anything cool? Quick preview? Mm, looks like it's kind of eh, just there. Melt in, single strike. It melts particles of iron and other metals found in the subsoil. Wow, it came out weird. Subsoil, so it can absorb them into its body of molten steel. Toxel. It manipulates. Wow, it manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricity. The voltage is weak, but. It can cause a tingling paralysis. Star you, rapid strike. No number of injuries can bother Star you. It's amazing regener regenerative powers returned it to its previous state in half a day. Cool. I would assume Starmie has that too then. Mawiley, chomp chomp hold, 30. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks cost one energy more and its retreat cost is one more. It chomps with its gaping mouth. Its huge jaws are actually steel horns that have been transformed. Cool. Makahita. <laughs> From uh, Ruby version. <laughs> There's a rumor of a traditional recipe for a stew that trainers can use to raise strong Makahita. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> the full body hollow is just an, uh, a common Gligar. It flies straight at its target's face, then clamps down on the startled victim to inject poison. And now the rare, three, two, one. Ugh, just a basic rare. Maractus. Ditch and shake. 
Discard any number of Pokemon tool cards from your hand. This deck does 50 damage for each card you discarded in this way. Oh, so that kind of can be juicy depending on how many tools are in your hand. <laughs> if you're a carpenter though, you should be good. Once each year, this Pokemon scatters its seeds. They're jam packed with nutrients, making them a precious food source out in the desert. Oh, really? Fire energy, Stantler. Wild dive detect does 30 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Ooh, so if they're if you're going up to against a more Pico, that could do some slightly serious damage. <laughs> the curved antlers subtly change the flow of air to create a strange space where reality is distorted. Oh, oh yeah? That, is that what aerodynamics do? That's how aerodynamics work? Huh. Glysaur? We just had the shiny Gligar, now it's <laughs> hmm, venomous hit, huh? And poisoned? Wow, it's not bad. This is a scorpion? Why does it fly then? It don't make sense. Scorpions don't fly. I feel like this is small. Let me zoom in. There we go. That's better. That's because I was starting out with the big card, so I needed it to be full screen. <laughs> its flight is soundless. It uses its lengthy tail to carry off its prey. That, that, that. Then its elongated things do that arrest. Santa Scorch! Whoa! A hundred and plain old 30. <laughs> While its burning body is already dangerous on its own, this excessively hostile Pokemon also has large and very sharp fangs. Cute. Oops, I put him in my rare pile, Glysaur. All right, next up, what is this, Cottony or something? Brilliant stars. We got the brilliant stars. Oh yeah, you got them stars that look great, real ass. Yeah. 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 Come on, there you go. Okay, taking out that code, bro. Nothing juicy. Tag nabbit, not really. <laughs> oh well. First up, new stuttery. Lead. <laughs> it's probably lead. Dodge Ram only does 10? Tell me, Rams are weak? I don't know about that. They say that any patisserie visited by Milsery is guaranteed success and good fortune. Dead end. Deadly flash. 20 plus. If your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining, it's attacked with six more damage, and your opponent's attacked with Pokemon is now confused. Very specific uh, situation, but can do up to 80 damage and be confused, so that's kind of cool. Since the den can't generate much electricity on its own, it steals electricity from outlets or other electric Pokemon. Why is this a psychic? Isn't it supposed to be an electric type? <laughs> Stupid. Cobchoo! Cobchoo! <laughs> When this Pokemon is in good health, its snot becomes thicker and stickier. It will smear its snot on anyone it doesn't like. Well, that's pretty gross. Just think about a little kid with like a runny nose. Ugh. Well, goofy looking far-fetched. <laughs> Leak Lash, 20 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Ooh, so you want a guy that's got a lot of health, so then it can have a lot of damage counters, and then boom, bam, done, you're dead. The stock this Pokemon carries in its wings serves as a sword to cut down opponents. In a dire situation, the stock can also serve as food. Well, I hope so. It's just a leak. Daskal, looking like he's a little bit confused with his arm over. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Perplexed. Time. Flip Pokemon has your opponent's active Pokemon. Not confused. Well, it looks like Duskull is confused. So I think the person that wrote this was confused. They must have got a heads, you know? If it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents, it will spirit them away. Or so it's said. Okay, first up, full body hollow, a uncommon Luxio. Uh, by joining its tail with that of another Luxio, this Pokemon can receive some of the other Luxio's electricity and power up its own electrical blast. Cool, and now my rare, jeez, just another boring basic. I mean, it's a tornado, so I'll take it, but come on. I want like them juicy ones, you know, the, uh, the secret rares and all that. Ay, ay, ay. Sudden Cyclone. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Ooh, so somebody that's almost dead, and then boom, bam, done. Blasting wind, you're dead. Tornadus expels massive energy from its tail, causing severe storms. Its power is great enough to blow houses away. Tail, isn't that like a cloud? It's weird saying he has a tail. Dark energy, exciting. Torkoal! It burns coal inside its shell for energy. It blows out black soot if it is endangered. Whoa, double turbo energy. 
As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides double colored synergy, which is funny because I was just talking about that, and now one shows up. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 less damage to your opponent's Pokemon. Wait, what? The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 less to your opponent's Pokemon. <coughs> well, that's stupid. How is that even called Turbo? That's weaker. Double Turbo? You mean double weakening? <laughs> Kindler? This kind of reminds me of uh, the Pokemon's version of um, the Armorer in Star Wars. <laughs> Just the idea, I mean, maybe the <coughs> abilities have nothing similar, but you can use this card only if you discard a fire energy card from your hand. Look at the top seven cards of your deck and put up to two of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Yeah, see, that has nothing to do with uh, the armorer, but just this guy called Kindler made me think of it. Whoops, code didn't come out. <laughs> Which, if I tried to have that happen when I'm recording, it would never happen. But just because I'm trying to take them all out. Dag Nabbit, I feel like I'm getting ripped off again. Ugh. Grobbin. It uses its big jaws to dig nests into the forest floor, and it loves to feed on sweet tree sap. Ooh, yeah, maple syrup. Rotom. It's probably short. It's called all Pokemon toys from all Pokemon, all of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, all of them? Pretty cool. With a body made of plasma, it can inhibit all sorts of machines. It loves to surprise others. I mean, startle them? So it's kind of like a trickster for Halloween? Smirga! Smirga! <laughs> Sketching trash. Put up the two fusion strike trainer cards from your discard pile into your hand. It draws symbols with the fluid that oozes from the tip of its tail. Depending on the symbol, Smirga fanatics will pay big money for them. What? So for a Smeargle painting or draws symbols? What does that mean? Like, do they come into like real life or? Carvana! Bite 10, come on, you should be a little beefier than that. I'm not saying I'm OP, but your bite should at least be like 40, come on. With its sturdy jaw and fangs, it can easily chop wooden boats to splinters. It fights with basculin over food. Yeah, you're destroying boats. And turning them into splinters, but you can only do 10 damage on your attack? Okay. Clamper! I'm blowing some serious bubbles. Maybe you're just ripping a lot of pollution, you know? Out of your arrows. Clamper's pearls are exceedingly precious. They can be more than 10 times as costly as Shelder's pearls. Well, what makes clamp pearls so much more juicy than Shelder? Poor Shelder. He's the OG, too. Full body hollow. Nice and boring. A common marrow. Wow. Let's all roll out that stupid rollout move. Even after a what does that say? Even after Meryl swims in a cold sea, its water repellent fur dries almost as soon as Meryl leaves the water. That's why this Pokemon is never cold. Barely read that. Okay, now time for the rare, and it is oh, just a basic Gudra. Slimy room. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, whenever your opponent tries to attach an energy card from the hand to a Pokemon, they must flip a coin. If it tails, your opponent discards that energy card instead of attaching it, and this doesn't use up their energy attachment before the turn. What? And it doesn't, and this doesn't use up their energy attachment for, so what, what does that mean? That they can keep attempting to attach energy and just keep discarding it? What does that mean? <clears throat> I don't know. Buster Tail, 120. Cool. Its form of offense is forcefully stretching out its horns. Those look like soft ears, like a, like a uh, basset hound. <laughs> the strikes land 100 times harder than any blow from a heavyweight boxer. <clears throat> Wait, Sligoo, stage two. What's the stage one? Goob Gooba or something? Hmm. Not up to date on my Gudra Revolution chain, I guess. Anyhow, Psychic Energy. Ooh, Pyoko Marco. Reminds me of... From Star Wars. Uh, yeah, from Star Wars. Pitch a Pyoko Moko. <laughs> What's during your turn? If this Pokemon's in your hand, you may reveal it and put it on the bottom of your deck. If you do draw a card, you can't use more than one pitch of Pyoko Moko ability each turn. Knuckle Punch with It is covered in a slime that keeps its skin moist, allowing it to stay on land for days without drying up. That's funny that I should say that because Gudra just had the slimy room thing. And now this is talking about how this is slimy. Schoolgirl, Chris Hansen. 
Draw two cards. If your opponent has exactly two, four, or six prize cards remaining, draw two more cards. That's weird. How does that have anything to do with the school girl? Chili and Cillian and Caress. Caress. Hey, they're like the stupid colors of the starters. Fire, grass, water. Search your deck for up to three fusion strike Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Cool. Last pack. Brilliant stars, bruh. This is perfect for me because my leg is starting to go tingly. Ugh. Okay, take out that code. Boom, bam, done. Come on, something juicy in here. Come on. See the best for last? Looks like no. Dang it. <sighs> Sneasel. Its paws conceal sharp claws. If attacked, it suddenly extends the claws and startles its enemy. Badoof. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> It constantly gnaws on logs and rocks to a to whittle down its front teeth. It nests alongside water. Oh, whittles down its teeth. So that means you're telling me it's like a cat when it's a uh, you know clawing at stuff to keep its nails on point. Actually, what's that called though? That's called something. What is that called? Not just scratching. I don't know. Whatever. Why do they call this a plump mouse? Come on, boops a beaver. Seriously, that's not <laughs> so stupid. Ooh, Electabuzz. Many power plants keep ground type Pokemon around as a defense against Electabuzz that comes seeking electricity. Come on, Electabuzz is a little juicier than this. Why is he so weak? Come on. Give him a little more ability. I mean, I know they came out with the uh, evolutionary line for, for him since Kanto, but come on. It's Shimmery Show. However you say that. Yeah, Shimmery Show. I don't know. Yeah, look, this thing does just as much damage as Electabuzz, 30 and 30. Come on, Electabuzz is way beefier than this. Emitting ultrasonic cries that floats on winds to travel great distances. We got a Ghibli. Ghibli prefers to stay in narrow holes in the sides of caves heated by geothermal energy. This way, Ghibli can stay warm even during a blizzard. Oh, okay. All right, full body hollow, again! A nice, boring, basic. There's a Wooloo in the background, so that's cool. At least it's kind of up to date. Wait, is this my full body hollow? Yeah, it is. Anyways, a nice, boring, basic. Um, shroomish, headbutt 20. It spells poison spores from the top of his head. These spores can cause pain all over if inhaled. <clears throat> and now time for my rare. What the heck? Okay, so it's kind of a full body hollow. But like, <laughs> what is this? Professor's research. Professor Rowan. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Don't all the professors do that? I think Oak does that and doesn't birch or something. <laughs> Stupid. All right, we got a water energy that was <clears throat> looking like it had a little bit of like the hollow corners. It's kind of weird. Luxio again. Is this the same one by joining its tail? Yep. The other one was hollow though. Hitmon top. Waiting to be a Hitmon Lee. It launches kicks while spinning. If it spins at high speed, it may bore its weight into the ground. Yep, because it's got a point on its head like a top. And last one, Magma Basin. <clears throat> Once during each player's turn, that player may attach a fire energy card from the discard pile to one of their benched fire Pokemon. If a player attached energy to a Pokemon in this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Wait, what? Once during each turn, they may attach a fire energy from the discard pile to one of the benched Pokemon. If a player attached energy... Ugh, you gotta take two damage counters to get one energy? That's kind of stupid. Anyways, that was my Morpico pack. God, I have to say that was crap. <clears throat> the only thing cool was this guy. Which, I mean, it came with the pack. It was the whole point of the pack. You know what I mean? It's like the packs themselves that I got suck. Ugh, so disappointing. Well, anyway, that's all I got. So thanks for checking this out. And uh, until next time, you should already know, especially if you're a return viewer, I said to say ya, I.